Hey guys, today I've got a quick one for you. We're actually going to be building just a, a small animation in Pixate. Now, what I've got uh, for a project I'm doing is I have a map, and on that map I want to show a real-time location ping. So if you think about apps like Lyft, they show the map, and then they show you your location on that map, with a little white dot that is kind of lively and it bounces up and down or something, it might have color radiate from it. That's what I want to do. Now, something like that might be better off being created in a GIF or a small little video, so maybe After Effects, uh, but Pixate doesn't currently allow GIF support or video support, and until it does, we can either use the same methods of just using a solid image, but I want to actually bring this to life. And Pixate is an animation program. Uh, it's just linked with interactions. So what I'm going to do is just build this out in Pixate, and it's only going to take us a few minutes. So I'm building this on an iPhone 5. Since the sizings don't really matter, it'll scale regardless, but um, I was just building it on an iPhone 5 and let it scale up to your phone. So since the actual ping, ping or element is light, we're going to add a dark background on this first, and we'll remove this later. And then we're going to come into our layers. We'll drag white.png onto here, and we're set. So I'm going to just put this on the left side just for now, we'll move it in a minute. But I want to show you exactly how we're going to do this first. Now with the spring easing curve, we have the ability to edit the tension and the friction. Now if we remove the friction from this, as you would expect, it's just going to move forever. There's nothing that's going to stop it. So if I've got this, let's say I'm going to move this to 300. Now when the screen is loaded, it's going to begin moving, and it's just going to keep going and going and going, and it won't stop. I can just leave this going for hours. Nothing's going to change. So that's the core principle behind how we're going to do this and just let it keep going. Rather than creating 10 or 20 copies of the same animation that are all timed out, we're just going to have this one. And it's very simple to do. So I'll delete that. What I'm going to do is place this right in the middle. Use these guides. Place this here. And I'm going to add a scale animation to this. I want this to happen when the screen is loaded. All of this is going to occur when the screen loads. And since this is already at full size at 1x, I'm going to have this scale down to 0.75. We'll turn on the spring, turn the friction down, and I want the tension to be low. You can see on 500, that's really fast, that's way too distracting not how you would expect this to react. So I'm going to turn it to 3. There, so it's a much slower, much more subtle animation. Now, when this scales down, once it hits the layer behind it, I want there to be a radiation of color to draw your eye and show that it's quote-unquote working, that it's showing a, with an area within a, a certain radius. So I, in here I've got something I've called the radiator. <laughs> it's going to radiate out, so it's appropriately named. I'm going to put this right in the middle, and I'll put it behind this white layer. Bring it in here. This is also going to scale. So we're going to use the exact same scale animation but we're going to have it sized differently. So once we get this in here, screen loaded. So for this one, this is just due to the size that I, sizings that I have. I'm going to have this go down to 0.42. This is what's perfect for this size for my project. Change the easing curve to spring. Turn this down. And we'll use the same tension. So just like that, you can see in here, that this is going the same, the same rate, 
expanding and, and, and going down together. Now, I don't want this to scale down when the pinger scales down. I want it to expand out when this pinger kind of you know hits this back layer. So what I'm going to do, since this animation duration, the, the whole thing is about two seconds long, I'm going to delay this for half of that. So I'm going to offset these. So delay this for one second. Just like that. And then I'm going to come in here and I want it to start at 0x. So we're going to offset this again. So now it expands out once this hits. Cool. So then one more thing. I don't want this to be solid all the time. It doesn't look good. I'm going to add a fade animation to this. What I'll do with this is when the screen is loaded, I'm going to tell this to go to zero. And the same thing with this, I want this to continually go. So I'm going to set the spring. It works for fades too. I'll turn this friction down, use the same tension. And just like the side, the scaling of this, I'm going to delay this for a second so that it's offset. So now, just ever so slightly, we can see right when this hits, it kind of boop, pops out. It looks perfect. It's very subtle. My eyes aren't drawn to the color or the radiation as the most attentive point. It's still on this pink thing. So that's exactly what I want. Now, you can go through and change this however you want. Uh, you just got to remember that you got to keep all of the tensions uh, values the same because that's essentially the speed and you might need to play around if you start changing the size uh, with different scale factors. Overall though, you just need to move them exponentially. So if you increase this by two, well this scale, uh, if you like this size, change this to 0.84 if you say double the size of the elements. So now just to make this more fun, I'm going to bring my map in here. Place this just right anywhere. Reorder this layer. So what I want to do is place this map on a street. Let's say we're, uh, we're hanging out in Union Square. And then I can put this on top. And if I put these two layers within here, treat this map as a group, then just add a free drag interaction to it. So once this reloads, now I've got my location on a map and I can move it. And it'll stay because say this is where this is meant to be, this is where I'm staying or whatever. No matter what I move, it stays right in place. Now you can make this be in its own group and just move the ping itself if you want. So if I create a small little layer, let's say I want this, just scale this down a little bit, put it right over where I, I knew these were, make this transparent. If I put the ping items in here, I could make this move and it'll keep doing its thing. So if I say, let's see, when the screen's loaded, I want this to move down to, gee, I don't know, let's pick a spot. Negative 95 and, and 300. So I'll say, just make this take like five seconds. So now I open that, and you can see it's still working. Now it's like, almost like a, a car driving by. All you need to do is just place that in its own group. Place it however you need it to work, and it's still going to work the way that you expect it to. That's what's fun about this. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.